from my friend and this is my partner Diksha. We are standing in St. Jesus High School. Let's see what uh, magicians have created as this is a science exhibition and science is a magic but in real. Diksha Di, would you like to display some magic? This is just a piece of our magic. This is a model of LVM4. So, this is just a trailer for our show. So, stay tuned for more! Good morning ma'am, good morning sir. I am Prince Maurya, student of first years. They are my group members. You are total five students. Yes, yes ma'am. I am high directive there. It works on the principle of when the kinetic energy and the potential energy of water converts into electrical energy through turbine and generator. Yes, ma'am. This is the reservoir. The uh, water is stored here as a pump. You just explain. This is the reservoir. The water is stored here, and uh, this is a pump stop uh, where the water is flowed. student of class 11 12th SS we have uh, we are, I am very proud to say that we have created a science project in our publications uh, in the project uh, we have made a very smart room it is fully automated and AI controlled it has a features that can protect you from thieves they stealing and uh, it makes your everyday life to very easy so bhaiya could you please explain how it will benefit the world, how your idea is beneficial? As you know today there is the one most problem in the world is that stealing. You have kept your money, jewelry and other things in your home and thought if someone has arrived and it will steal your goods. How will it do? It makes you very discomfort. Hence we have made a totally secure home which will protect you from even a thief that will be stealing in night or day. Meanwhile, I would like to explain my team members. Meet Ajit Patel. He is the coder of this project. All the appliances are coded by him. He is the, our software engineer of this project. Meet Ajit Patel. He is our exterior and interior designer of the home. He is also the financer of the home. He also has worked in many appliances. Thank you, Bhaiya, for your valuable time. And you have made such an amazing project. And uh, I want to say to all the students that uh, they should try to do best. By doing these uh, such uh, little things, they can do a lot in their career, in their future time. It will be very good for their inspiration, their motivation, and it will encourage these students to, be, to do a great job in their future time. I want to say to uh, in the school efforts, that it is very good. It will encourage all the students to do their best in their life. And it is very good and it should be conducted time to time. 
so that all the, uh, the students who do not participate in this program, they can participate in the further program. Thank you sir for your time. We are really happy that you gave your time. Electrical dyno, electrical dyno with the help of pollution. This project has to reduce the pollution and create electricity by using converting wind energy into electric energy. Then this is a battery which gives a lot of pollution. That's why this is a machine and sucking device and dynamo which is connected to each other. This sucking sucking device used to suck pollutions, and this is a dynamo which helps to produce electricity. This polluted air goes to the filter. And this is a filter, and this is an another sucking device which helps to suck pollution from the traffic. This is Danny and our group includes four members. We have divided our work in more comfortable seats so that we can complete this project comfortably. Ma'am, you can see here the roles of our group members. Like ma'am, here you can see the roles of group members. Like RN has managed all the orders because ma'am he has wide knowledge of internet exploring and marketing. So he has managed all the orders which are required for robot. And then ma'am. Yes. This is Namadish. And Danish Arosh. And Adesh. And Adesh has managed all the coding works which are compiled inside the robot. So now our robot is based on three mechanisms. First is controlling mechanism. Second is Bluetooth. So ma'am. आपको कैसा लग रहा है देख के कि इतनी इनोवेटिव आइडियाज है और कैसे प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं बहुत अच्छे बच्चों ने बहुत मेहनत की और बहुत अच्छे बच्चों ने सारा काम किया और ये होता रहना चाहिए मेरे ख्याल से जिससे बच्चे क्रिएटिव बनते हैं और उनको अच्छा कर, आगे करने को भी मिलता है मैम आप कुछ मोटिवेट करने के लिए मैं कहना चाहिए हाँ लगे रहो मैम दैट वॉज नाइस So now I am with Akshay Gupta. So can you demonstrate your model to us? Yes. Side. So is it going well? Okay. Wow. The lava that is coming is really exciting. So. Again with my partner, as she has also prepared a model. I found him her very talented. She is with her mama, so I would like to take his interview. What would you like to express about her model? Ah, uh, first of all, I would like to say like I am very happy to be here and to see uh, students getting involved in all extracurricular activities. And uh, this is related to science. And I hope in future we will be seeing more uh, of these activities and. Uh, Not only related to science, but also social and political background also. So it will be good to see uh, kids learning this day. Okay. Do you want to say something to her? Uh, I am proud of her, and I am also proud of all the students which is uh, participating here. It's a good to see uh, their contribution, and they really came up with the like, good ideas. Uh, even not good ideas, let me say like uh, great ideas, and hope uh, they are our future, and they will keep learning. So nice to see a parent not scolding their children but appreciating their efforts. Why should I scold them? This is a great job, man. No, no, I am very, I am lucky appreciating it, and also appreciate that the school is getting involved in these activities, and hope we will see both. Sir, thank you so for your valuable time. Now can I take Diksha? Diksha, please introduce your team partners. So there are my partners. So. I am Chetna Devi. I am Varsha. I am Mahesh. So we have prepared the nuclear power plant. As you can see, so this is the model, just a prototype of how the nuclear power plant are. Could you please explain why you chose this topic and not another topic? So as we all know that whenever we think about the 
less carbon generating and eco friendly and cheaper uh, energy resources. We always think about water energy, sunlight, and also biogas. Why don't we think about nuclear energy? As we all should know that nuclear power plant could be applicable for everywhere. As sometimes what happens there are some places which do not have the water scarcity. They have water scarcity. They have less amount of sunlight. So we can use this power plant anywhere, and it is. Easy to use, it is cheaper and it is less carbon generating than coal and the other fossil fuels. Hello everyone, this is Soumya Pandey and this is my partner Diksha. And we are here to take an interview of Principal Ma'am, who is Dr. Priyanka Gupta. So, firstly, my partner would ask some of the questions. So, Ma'am, what was your motive behind conducting this type of science exhibition in our school? First motive is to provide platform for the children, those who have the immense potential, and they can uh, bring out their hidden skills and can flourish as well. They can nourish and sharpen. Through this way, they can do their best, and they can even they can analyze and identify. Even some of the students don't know about their uh, skills that they have, and. Uh, if they want to do something in life, like uh, you uh, you have seen today, that some of the students participated in a sport, some have participated in the exhibition. So each and every child have is unique and have some different skills. So to provide uh, flourish and uh, sharpen the skills, I have provided. And so, ma'am, what are your reviews about the? I'll give five star review because really it was. Uh, unexpected for me uh, I was not expecting that much good efforts that they have put to demonstrate uh, whatever they have learned in the school and they have got different informations and the information and facts regarding their models ma'am have you ever participated in such kind of activities Yes, of course, I have participated in my school life as well as in my professional life also. I have uh, when I was a student and I have prepared the models as well when I was uh, working as a teacher also. That time I have guided my students for uh, making projects. So this was uh, my past experience and that I have added few more colors in it and uh, executed it for the children. Ma'am, are you planning to give our talented students a much greater platform? Of course, because it needed. Uh, if a child have any potential or any skill, this is our duty to provide a much higher platform so that they can get more competition because this world is so vast and there are there are lot of uh, potential people uh, I mean students are there those are having uh, potential as well uh, lot of competition is also there so i want to make them provide um, the platform where they will get the tough competition so that they can make them more uh, intelligent more eligible to face the challenges so ma'am, at the last of my conversation, would you like to motivate us and encourage us? Yes, uh, the way, uh, yes, this is the way that uh, more and more students should participate. Uh, even if, not only in this science exhibition, we are conducting number of CC activities, uh, co-curricular activities, like uh, in class 3rd to 5th, they are the students, those who have uh, um, doing today, they were doing the stone painting. This is all to, or also a hidden skill inside the students. Uh, so this way we are providing number of activities we are conducting here and uh, motivating the students to grow, to get to know more. So I will keep on continuing to motivate and encouraging the students. So ma'am, what would be your motivation for the future participants? Motivation for future participants. Uh, your motivation will be that never, never think about that if we do something and we success, then what will happen? Because after winning, then we will win. So never think about it that 
if uh, i will not get success i will not win the prize if i will not get the position i will not get the rank then what will happen because your failure will make you learn that how much you have to learn more and this way you will learn more and again you will put your efforts and one day you will get the success thank you so much ma'am for your valuable time it was a great conversation thank you so much thank you ma'am